Hello, everybody. I'm Jim McMahon, and with me is Gorilla Metal. All right, Blood Bowl 2020 team links continue. We're going to talk about my favorite team, Nurgle. I am an expert in Nurgle, aren't I, Jim? I'm not. Tell us about the changes here, because good Lord, am I terrible at Nurgle and have basically nothing to add to this conversation. <laughs> well, you're in luck, Gorilla, because I am an expert on Nurgle. It's what I've won my uh, major with on Fumble, and it's what I... Uh... What I had a pr- probably a record that will never be beaten in CCL with it of 33-3, which is pretty good. <laughs> so it's rotters have been really nerfed, the linemen. I mean, you can see the pictures of them there. It was kind of stupid that they were agility three before, so they've made them agi- they like they've made them a, so they would have been an agility three plus. They've made them an agility four plus now, and it does fit with how they look a lot better. Um, they're terrible at passing. <laughs> they are faster than zombies, but they don't have regen. Um, as you can see, everybody on the team has Plague Ridden, which is just uh, Nurgle's Rot renamed uh, to a much better, makes more sense to be Plague Ridden, actually. That if you get killed by a Plague Ridden guy, you, uh, you contract Nurgle's Rot and then play for the, like, you know, just get raised as a Rotter after the game. Um, they've lost passing on secondary, which uh, most linemen have. Uh, the Pestigors have got a break of 50k. So, oh yeah, so they're 5k cheaper. Pestigors also 5k cheaper. Otherwise unchanged, apart from the nerf to passing, as you would expect from pretty much everybody in the game has suffered from. Bloaters are bizarrely 5k extra. Um, <laughs> I'm not a, not a fan of that at all, because they could have really made Nurgle usable, but didn't. <laughs> so they've, they've made them more expensive, and that... You know, for really no reason. I, I, there's no. They haven't got better. I guess every, other people have got worse at passing, and they've got less worse than other people because they're already passing on a four plus. But now they're passing on a six plus. So it's just weird. I don't know why they've made them worse. And then the rot spawn is used to be the beast of Nurgle, didn't he, long ago? And uh, yeah, he's pretty much the same. His tentacles. Um, tentacles have actually got worse on a normal. Like if you've got a reroll available, they they. So if you're not planning to re-roll it, they don't hold as much as they used to. Um, if you really need to re-roll it, then they hold you a bit more because you can't... Um, the person with the tentacles, the person, the, the player with the tentacles rolls the dice. So, um, so like, you know, you can't use a re-roll to try for a second chance to get away from tentacles. So, the, so tentacles are a weird thing. They're, so they're slightly buffed but slightly nerfed at the same time. And rerolls are still seventy k, so you still you get the same. You get the standard start of, um, you know, five rotters, a pestigore, four bloaters, a rot spawn, and two rerolls. So it's a really grim start, and uh, yeah. Oof. Yeah, that looks like a <laughs> looks like a rough team to have to commit to. Uh, let me ask: decay hasn't changed, correct? It's the same as it was. Oh, that's a brilliant, brilliant question. Yes, uh, decay has is a lot less bad. It's like basically they've got a niggling injury now. You just simply add one to the roll on the casualty table if the player has decay. So it's almost nothing really. Oh, that's uh, that's quite a bit better actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's tons better. Um, and whether Nurgle will be ever be viable depends on what kind of format. If you're playing with seasons and uh, redrafting, or if you're just you know playing shorts, playing short leagues and restarting from a thousand TV, they're going to be pretty absolutely terrible. Um, if CCL that we have in Blood Bowl too, if something like that where you just keep the same team forever, they are going to end up pretty good because you know you'll you'll get a massive bloated team. Funnily enough. For, for Nurgle, um, and you know, if they get the 3000 TV, they probably won't be as good as elves, but at least they will be better than stuff like dwarves at 3000 TV. Um, but if if you've got you know, if you play the game as intended at quite low TV, then Nurgle are just going to be rotten. Fair enough. Well, I am definitely looking forward to continuing my trend of not playing Nurgle uh, <laughs> in pretty much any format, Jim. Thanks for walking us through that. Yeah, you're very welcome. It's it's a good idea, you know. That the the, be, the beginning part of Nurgle is painful. Um, there was the payoff when you you know in the old rules where you got the claw palm and stuff, but now there that payoff isn't there anymore, and and then you'll have to redraft into a into a rubbish team. So I I really hate it. Yeah, I, I think they're a lot worse now. They dro- claws nerfed. There's no piling on. 
and no reason to play Nurgle, really. So I think that's about it. All right. Well, all you Nurgle fans, I hope that was uplifting and exciting. Uh, <laughs> if you are looking for another team to jump in on, may I suggest Dorf, Dorf, Dorf. <laughs> dorf, 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 Dorf. <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> well, the absolute be hype train of dwarves. Part. Fantastic. Yeah, gonna... All right, we're just going to end this one. Take care, everyone. Yep, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.